Hey there, Mark Satterfield here. Thanks so much for joining me. Was uh, talking with a uh, client right before I filmed this about old school direct mail. Does it work? And if so, what might be the kinds of letters that you might want to send? How many should you send them? How much space between the letters? And interestingly, in chapter da, 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 uh, chapter six of the book, uh, I talk about uh, direct mail and actually give you the uh, templates for a three-letter sequence and uh, discuss uh, how, uh, how to send them out. And uh, uh, the three-letter sequence seems to be the optimal number. We've tried one, we've tried two, we've tried five, we've tried six, but three letters seems to get the, uh, get the most, uh, most response. And these are great in terms of both uh, generating interest, getting prospective clients to raise their hand and express interest. Uh, this particular client used it to attract uh, a group of wealthy and affluent clients to a uh, opening of a new branch of his, uh, his art gallery. Worked really, really well. We've used it for all kinds of, of events. And uh, again, the three letters sequence is something that uh, is uh, universally applicable. Now, I'm not talking about you know postcards or anything of that nature. I'm talking about bona fide letters that are that are addressed, and all the mechanics, all the templates are in chapter six of the book. So, if you haven't gotten the book, uh, seriously, go ahead and get it. Because remember, with this book, what I tried to do for you was to give you a variety of different options, different ideas different strategies to attract the wealthy. And the reason I did that, unlike my other book, uh, The One Week Marketing Plan, where I prescribed an entire system, which you know, is, is great, but a lot of people don't want to do that. A lot of people uh, want to use direct mail. There are some people who even want to use the telephone. There's people that want to use networking. There's people that want to use client events. There's lots and lots of different ways to develop relationships with the wealthy. The key is, finding a few that you can do on a consistent basis. That's the real key, consistent basis. And that's what I cover in the Affluent Marketing Blueprint. As I say, everything from email to social media to email, you know, anyway, covers the waterfront. If you, uh, if you bought it and you haven't read it, please, you know, please, you know, read it. If you haven't gotten it, please do yourself a favor and, uh, and grab a copy. I think you'll find it to be enormously enormously helpful. So that's what I've got for you today. As always, thank you so much for being a part of my community. Uh, if you know of other people who are trying to attract uh, wealthy, affluent clients, I mean, heck, clients that uh, have money to afford what it is that, uh, that they offer, please pass this along to them. It's, uh, it's good for them. It's good karma for you. And of course, yeah, it's, it's good for me. All right. Well, I will be back with you soon with another video. Until then, this is Mark Satterfield. Bye for now.